Hey guys, Mountainous K4 here, and today I got some Dipio things to share with you. And they're pretty good. So the first thing is my the abilities. I'm gonna share some of my favorites. Like uh like Smasher, it drags in all tanks and FOV towards the Smasher for 12 seconds. Yeah. And I don't, I came up with cooldown for some of them, like 60. I'm pretty sure it's like a whole minute for this one that you have to wait. I don't really know how long 12 seconds is. <laughs> but, yeah, and then there's the spike. Turns into an obstacle course affecting anyone inside of its field of view for 35.3 three seconds. I think it's a little bit too long. I, I just thinking about it that many seconds. Actually, that's not that long. Hmm. I I really don't know my seconds well. I don't think about it when I'm making this. I don't know how you work. Oh yeah, annihilator shoots two instant kill bullets. And the bullets will are homing. They will only kill tanks, and faster tanks may be able to escape. So, like, basically, you have to click on a person, and then the the bullet will go after that person, or wherever you click, it'll home after the nearest person. But yeah, the it does have a certain time limit that it has to get catch them. So. Faster tanks might be able to escape. Then, yeah, the the last ones are really uncreative because I was running out of ideas. Oh yeah, the manager makes drones in, and itself temporarily invisible to other players just 13 to 15 seconds. And yeah, you can read that. And I'm going to send you the link to this document in the description because I there's a lot of ideas. Oh, and here's new tanks. The rifle. Wait, that's not one of my favorites. I want to only share my favorites in this video. It's like a premiere. Oh, yeah, the RNG. So it upgrades from basic tank at level 30. And the, sh the tank will shoot random types of guns of tanks level 30 and under and it it basically uses those stats the, the stats that it has to shoot those bullets every single time it shoots upgrading its reload will do will upgrade reload normally but will also change the random amount of time it takes to switch gun it will randomly change that so it will it'll just make it even more random so yeah a lot of randomness My dad was speaking to me in some kind of sign language, and I had no idea understand him. Can you pause it or something? Hey guys, we're back, and now I'm gonna tell you about the snowball. Okay, this one I like. Okay, so it upgrades from Smasher at level forty-five. It starts as a normal smasher, if, but if you kill someone, your smasher will grow bigger, stronger, and faster for a limited time. And the more get kills you get, the, like, you can keep upgrading that. You don't, that can't stop. Like, there is no limit to how many times you can upgrade that. And your boosts go away one at a time. So, like, if you're at one level and you just kill one person, that'll go away one at a time. If you have like five people, you won't, you won't, ha you know, you won't have to worry that what, what, you won't have to worry that much because your boosts will go one away at one at a time. Just like one will go away, and then once you have like two, you're gonna be like, oh no, I lost like all my boosts. Oh yeah. One of mine, one of my other favorites is Boomerang. 
It upgrades from twin at level 30, and it looks a lot like a twin, but it alternates through two cannons, those two twin cannons, shooting a bullet that boomerangs into the opposite gun. The boomerang always comes back unless it's hit by enough bullets. A new stat is added to tank. It is called boomerang distance. The boomerang speed won't upgrade the distance, so the boomerang distance will make it go farther instead. Boomerang distance is a very optional stat, and because of that, it can only be upgraded three times. You know, that's pretty nice. And please don't be reading this document if you don't, like, if you want to read the whole thing, just, just click on the link in the description, okay? Oh, yeah. So then, there's another one that I really like. The Pyra Gunner. It upgrades from Gunner at level 45, and it has a more pyramid-shaped gun formation, giving it the name Pyra Gunner. The Pure Gunner has three more gunner cannons in front of the regular con cannons. By the way, they're like, they're not going to be in front in like order. Well, it, like, they're going to be not above in front. And they're going to be behind those cannons. That's how it's going to look. It's going to look pretty nice, I think. If it were to be in the game. The bullet penetration of the of all the cannons, since it adds new gunner cannons, um, the bullet penetration is reduced by 4.5%, and the bullet damage is reduced by 8.1%. So, it's a pretty nice, you know, it's a pretty nice tank. I gotta say, that would be a very good thing to add, because, like, the gunner, I don't like the auto gunner. I just need, the gunner needs a better upgrade than the auto gunner and the streamliner. Pretty sure it upgrades in the auto tank. Uh, auto 5, too. I'm not 100% sure. Well, no. The, yeah, the auto 3 upgrades into the... I got confused. And, yeah, I, some of the stuff is work in progress. So, yeah, that's just a showcase of my document. So, if, if you like this video, leave a like, and be sure to look at this document in the description, man. You know, just do it. Mountainous K4, out. Ah! Oh my goodness, I'm copying Gantinium even more than I was before. Oh goodness, wait, I'm gonna have to edit it out. Oh, people, will ne people will never know.